Well, hello everybody. So here we are again, and this is just a quick um, little kind of cafe watercolor, little pointer. So I'm going to talk to you about the color green. Um, what I notice about a lot of artists is that they don't really use green. Um, and that is probably because a lot of us don't know how to make beautiful greens. One of the key essential things in watercolor or in all colors to understand that there everything comes from three primary colors, as we all know, a red, a blue and a yellow. So in mixing colors, we can learn to take all of these colors and we can make a whole spectrum of colors. One of the most beautiful colors that I love to use is green. It's one of my favorite colors. In fact, I have a green chimney inside my house, my fireplace, my mantle, everything is green. Um, and I love it. And I believe green is a color of friendship. So anyway, that being said, I'm going to teach you today very quickly how to make a grid. So first thing we're going to understand is the base color of green is yellow. So we're always going to start with some yellows and you can take any yellows you want. And uh, we're going to take some blues and you can take any blues you want. So I have prepared a chart here and this is called a grid. And if you look at it, I have squared off my page to a grid and I have up here, I have cerulean blue, I have cobalt blue, turquoise blue, ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue. Over here underneath, I have lemon yellow, permanent yellow, cadmium yellow, quinacridone yellow gold, because I happen to have it in my palette, and burnt sienna. And you can go on and on. You can put raw umber, burnt umber, and you can go right through the whole spectrum of yellows to browns, because um, they're part of the yellow family. And you could use all kinds of different blues as well. So that being said, um, what I want to do is I'm going to take my lemon yellow just to start. So you're going to draw a grid. You have your side here, one, two, three, four, five. This is a uh, empty spot right here. So I'm just going to X that out. So you know you're not going to use that. And here you have one, two, three, four, five. You could make it longer, up to you. I chose five. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow, lemon yellow, yummy lemon yellow, and I'm going to put it here, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. Nice rinse. I'm going to go in and grab some of my cerulean blue. And I'm going to put a little dash of cerulean blue in there. And get some beautiful green happening. Maybe a bit too much blue. I'm going to take some of my cobalt blue. Just a bit and put it in there. And look at that gorgeous green we're getting. Mm -hmm. And let's take some of that turquoise blue, which is right about here, and put some of that in there. Look at that one. That's almost like the cerulean, but a little bit brighter. Because your blues are very similar, right? And then I'm going to take my ultramarine, just a touch. Always remember, just a touch. You can always add more. And we have a darker green happening there. And let's take a, some of that scrumptious thalo blue and put it in there. And a little bit more maybe, here we go. Thalo blue. Look at those beautiful greens that I've got. There you go. How's that? So now we have a mix of lemon yellow cerulean, lemon yellow cobalt, lemon yellow turquoise, lemon yellow ultramarine, and yellow, lemon yellow thalo. And I like to work on a slant, so I'm just gonna slant my board a bit and let that color move around. You really get a good look at that color. There we go. Let's put that back down and try to get you back into view. There we go. So now, our next one, we're gonna take permanent yellow. Let's take some of that gorgeous permanent yellow which is right about here, our permanent yellow. And we're going to put our permanent yellow 
yellow here, permanent yellow, permanent yellow, permanent yellow. A little rinse. And let's take those gorgeous blues. Let's take some of that cerulean, just a bit. And we're getting a deeper, deeper green, because our yellow is a little deeper. We're gonna take some cobalt, put some of that cobalt in there. We're getting a richer, deeper green. Let's take a little turquoise, a little bit of that gorgeous turquoise. I don't forget, if you really want to get a bigger range, you can use um, a bigger variety of uh, blues. There we go. So look at my green there. They're very similar, as I pointed out in the beginning, these two colors. This is truly a lesson for you to learn to mix your own colors. Ooh, maybe too much ultramarine. So let's just go back in there and grab a bit of that. Beautiful, there we go. So you see, nice deeper color. And let's get some of that thalo, which I love. And by the way, if you mix thalo blue, actually uh, thalo blue with a dash of burnt sienna, you will get the most gorgeous teal green which you're going to see down the road. So there you go. So these two look different, look the same. Um, the colors are deeper because as you can see, and I told you these two colors, cerulean, and you can also see that with cobalt and ultramarine. The different one here is the uh, fellow. This is a great exercise for you to discover beautiful greens. Now let's take some of that cadmium yellow, which is a must have in your palette, cadmium yellow, yummy. Scrub a dub dub. What color are we taking? First one, a dash of cerulean. Now look at that green. That's a little more matte. Take some cobalt, cobalt blue. Look at that great green, that's a beauty. Mm -hmm. Let's take some of that gorgeous turquoise. You should always have paper towels handy. as you can see, are very similar. So to be fair, my colors are quite similar, but they're ranging in tone and hue. And let's go with some ultramarine. Here's where we're gonna see a difference. Here we go, ultramarine. thought thalo blue is more a Pinocchio blue. There we go. Thalo blue. Now quinacridone and cadmium yellow are very similar. Quinacridone and cadmium. It's a little bit more of a gold that's more of a bright tone. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. Let's take some quinacridone. Remember, you always think of your base color. Base color. Base color of a leaf is yellow, of a green is yellow. Quinacridone. Let's try a little cerulean with some cardacridone. See what happens. Maybe a little more lime looking. Hmm? What do you think? Nice green. 
And then the next one is cobalt. Grab some of that yummy cobalt. So there's a more olive color, I would say. Turquoise, let's grab that beautiful turquoise and put it in there. I'm seeing that these are very close changing here. Ultramarine, ultramarine. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's a beautiful green. Ultramarine and Quadacridone, I like it. And Thalo, Pinocchio Blue. That's for you, my good friend, Leticia, who lives in LA. Look at that gorgeous, that almost looks like, that's becoming a Thalo Green. So you can make Thalo Green by using Quinacridone Let's tilt that. Watch the colors. Look at how they move. They're so beautiful. Okay. And now, this could be fun. Let's take our gorgeous honey burnt sienna. Let me bring this down. Here we go. Burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, burnt sienna, burnt sienna. Are you ready? You really want to clean your brush. You must always have clean water. If a goldfish won't swim in it, you won't paint with it. Clean water always, always. Always have two, minimum two pots of water. I have three. So this is what's happening. That's my green water now. This is my blue water. I try to stay. This is my fresh water if I'm stuck. Okay? Be ready. Always be ready. So let's go. Let's take some of that cobalt, uh, sorry, cerulean, and put that in there with the burnt sienna. Interesting color. Let's take the cobalt cobalt and put that in with the burnt sienna. Oh, didn't grab it. Here we go. I think my paints are drying up. We're getting some army greens here. I think that's what's happening. Move it down. How about some turquoise? Let's go for that. Yummy turquoise right there. Yummy turquoise. Oh, that's an interesting green. Hmm? What do you think of that? Here's a good one, ultramarine. I'll bet you anything that's going to turn a bit gray. There we go. Look at that. I think we have made ourselves a very interesting gray. We've completely taken out all the yellow of that one with ultramarine. So you're making yourself some nice, you've got some burnt umber here. You've got some raw umber. How about that? And now thalo, which you're going to love. Thalo. Here we go. And I think that dried up quite a bit. But look at that beautiful teal green. Hmm? There you have it. Let's let the color move. There you have it. You have some beautiful green. So now you know how to make green. Look at all those beautiful greens. How about that? 
So that being said, practice, make a grid, choose five colors. How about doing some purples? You'll need five blues and five reds. Um, how about some oranges? How about some reds and yellows? So learn to make your own colors. I mean, you know what? We would actually pay in a store to have all these great colors. Quite a bit. And there you have it. So that being said, I hope you'll all practice and I hope you enjoyed the video. So be sure to uh, make your comments. Appreciate that. Be well and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be talking about brushes. Have yourself a beautiful day, everyone.